it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and we are going to do a deep dive on the lasagna bin. Now, I uh, just wanted to start from the beginning for people who have not been to my channel before. Uh, this is a lasagna bin. It is basically the easiest bin that you could ever do. Um, so this has got about, about a pound of the red wigglers, the European night crawlers, and the Indian blue worms. And I started this off as kind of a breeding experiment because I know that I often find that the reproduction is better inside of like little cardboard um, niches. So, oh, is that a slug? What the heck? Unacceptable. All right, back to the story. So, uh, I first started this as a, an experiment because I thought that they like to um, breed inside the flutes of the cardboard. And as a side experiment, it is the easiest thing. You don't have to shred things, you just have to basically make the cardboard um, fit. And as you can see here, these are food boxes and other like Amazon boxes. And I just throw them on here, um, usually wet, but not always. I usually leave a top layer of dry to kind of buffer it from the environment. So, let's have a look and see what the lasagna bin is doing from the last time. So they've already started making very good use of these. So you can see they're all kind of like crawling in and around on these flutes. These are, this is pure castings. There's no ground bedding in here or anything. This is castings made from cardboard, and that's all it is. That's what they've turned Amazon boxes and food boxes like cereal or crackers or whatever into in just a couple of months. So as we kind of dig a little deeper, trying to gently move the layers, you can see that the worms are already getting in between very easily and we're not seeing any whole food anywhere. These are just castings. Sassy little blue worm there. So this has been running for a couple of months, maybe four. I'll put the exact time in the, in the video when I'm editing. But uh, yeah, so this is, they've already gone through their, their layers that they have been given previously. This is a pretty, pretty big pill bug. And these are helpers. They're helping break up the cardboard. They are what is known as shredders in the composting world. So they are doing a lovely job already. So I'll kind of flip back around here and see what they're doing on this edge. There was some tomato, I believe. I'm also um, looking in here to make sure that there's no other pests. I did find that one slug, and I'm not real happy about that. That's the first time I found a slug in my bin. So I find that really unusual. So I just want to make sure there's nothing else nefarious going on here. But everything looks like it's doing good. So let's get everything put back together here and then we will add some more noodles and some more food. Okay, so um, as you can see here I've started soaking my cardboard and being that it is rather thick cardboard I do you know probably put a gallon in this little tub here and then let it soak for 15 minutes or so and that way it starts to loosen up the cardboard and then the little worms can crawl in there and be all nice and snugly. Um, you don't have to get it all sopping wet like this, but it will decompose faster if it's wet when you put on the apple goo. So what I have made here is apple goo and I have found this to be the best food for the lasagna bin. Now, this is just fallen apples that a squirrel has taken a bite out of and um, threw on the ground. 
um, really nothing wrong with them. So I just put them in this pot with a little bit of water and cooked them for a little bit. And once this gets down to room temperature, this is going to be the perfect food to coat on top of the wet cardboard and then basically worm party. Okay, so we've got our pre-soaked cardboard. This is some pretty heavy-duty cardboard. Um, and it doesn't really go through the shredder that great. I mean, it's the, the stuff that they ship really heavy packages in. So uh, this stuff works better in the lasagna bin than it does going in as sh shredded bedding. So I'm going to put the apple goo on. And kind of, you know, just like you're frosting a cake. This will make this go very, very fast. Kind of getting it all the way to the edges. And then I'm going to add another layer. Okay, and then I'm going to put some more apple goo on. This is cool enough to touch, but it's still kind of warm. Yeah, I mean, I can put my hand on there, so I think it's it's okay. Plus, the worms are on the bottom, and they're gonna have to work a little bit to to get on this. Next time we come look at this, there will not be any apple left. And we'll be pleasantly surprised that the cardboard is well on its way to being gone, too. So, I know I spoil my worms. I did actually cook food for the worms this time. But uh, this is going to be really, really nice. You're going to see that um, this is one of the, the happiest. You're going to see worm balls all the way through here the next time. So, you know, does it really work as it was designed to be a good breeding experiment? I don't know. Uh, they do breed well. I don't have any population problems here. Um, but it is something that's really easy to do, um, especially if there's no time to shred cardboard or if, God forbid, the shredder breaks. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get them some dry cardboard uh, to put on top of this. And then I'm going to go find them a lid to basically weigh down everything and uh, keep the moisture in. All right. This is actually the box that the, uh, the worms from Northeast Worms uh, sent my worms in. So now the worms will eat the worm box. All right, there we go. And let me grab their little lid to hold everything down. And then that is it for the lasagna bin. All right, guys. Well, if you liked the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.